welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Carolina. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video, I'm going to be using a brand new eyeshadow palette that just came out. And I'm going to be using the new Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume 2 palette. Um, this is the more colorful eyeshadow palette that she has. I mean, look at all these shades. They're so pretty. And I wanted to recreate one of Jacqueline's looks that she did for the little photo shoot. Shadows are so pigmented, so creamy. So if you guys are interested and want to see how I cheat with this look right here, just keep watching. Okay, love, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, my whole face makeup is pretty much done, and as well as this side. I just recreated um, the look that Jacqueline had when she did the little photo shoot campaign for her palette. All the eyeshadows blended out so nicely when I was doing this side. Like, I didn't have any issues with blending, and I didn't really have a lot of fallout, which is crazy, because... When you have really pigmented shades like this, like really colorful shades, you do tend to get a lot of fallout. So I only use five shades from this palette. I got mine from a Morphe's website when like it first came out. Retails for $39. Just come with 35 shades. I mean, you get so many like options, varieties, so many looks that you can achieve with this. Definitely recommend having some kind of like colorful eyeshadow palette in your collection. So I'm going to use the P. Louise base. This is in Rumor 2. Um, I love this base, especially for doing like really colorful eyeshadow. Um, I don't really use this that often with like neutral look, so I just put some on the back of my hand. And I'm going to take the Sigma Precision Flat Angled Brush, this is the P88 brush. And I'm going to start putting this all over my lid. Just like that. And I do like taking just my finger. And just pressing this in and taking any excess off with my finger. And this also kind of like sets this um, base. I'm going to put this little ears because my hair keeps getting in my face and it's just bothering me. So it's a little bit better. For some reason I'm getting like a dry patch right here. So hopefully it doesn't like hurt the eyeshadow look. I'm going to take that really pretty purple, it's more of a lighter lilac purple, and I'm going to start building this on my crease. So I'm going to go from all the way in the inner corner, just like I did here, and then all the way to the outer corner. I'm going to take the darker purple shade, which is called Not My Journey. I'm using the same brush. I'm just going to dab a little bit on the back on my brush and just tap some of the excess off. And then I'm just going to build this on top of this lilac color. I already have this side done. I'm always like just checking to make sure everything is nice and even. And then I'm going to do the cut crease. I'm going to take the P. Louise base again. And I'm just going to take a flat brush. This one is by Alamar Cosmetics. And again, I'm just putting some on the back of my hand. I'm going to take the shade My Man, which is that gorgeous, super bright orange color, and I'm going to put that right in the inner corner, just like how I did that. And I'm just using a little flat brush. I'm just going to tap a little bit of the excess off. You can see it's so pigmented. And the other purple shades gave me a no hard time to blend like oh my god it was so easy to blend out I'm not gonna lie when I first saw that this palette was gonna come out with Morphe I was like why is she doing a collab with Morphe like she has her own brand she should be like you know putting more effort into her brand and you know after everything that's happened um issues that she's had in the past I was kind of like confused by it but I'm actually really happy that she did do a collab with Morphe because this palette is so good and so affordable that 
if she were to do it uh, and like with her brand, it probably would have been so much more expensive and I probably wouldn't have bought it if it was like more than how much it costs right now. Just again, with everything that has happened with her brand, I just. Can I see how pigmented that is? Oh my god. I'm gonna take the coral shade, which is called Positivity. Again, with the same brush, I'm just gonna add that right next to this orange shade. This one is giving me no fallout, which is crazy. I am going to take this brush as a Morphe M431 brush. I'm going to go back into that coral shade and just blend this out a little bit more. I'm going to go back to therapy sesh and not my journey. But I'm just going to start adding this on my outer corner. Gonna diffuse this so it doesn't look harsh. And then I'm gonna take the shade I'm in it, and I'm actually gonna put that on top of the coral shade. Um, so you can kind of see there's a little bit of sparkle right here. It's because I used that shade right on top. Uh, for lashes, I'm going to be using this one's by Kiss. While I let that glue dry, I'm going to go ahead and put this on my waterline. My lower lash line, I'm going to take the same shades, the same purples. And then with the shade I'm in, I'm going to put that in my inner corner. Okay, love, so I went ahead and added some setting spray. I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I actually really love the mist of this spray. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy me trying out the new Jaclyn Hill palette. I honestly do really love the shades that I used. Um, this look was so easy to do. The eyeshadows blended out so nicely. They're so pigmented, so creamy. And I had no issues whatsoever blending out any of the colors that I use on my lid. I'm going to keep playing with this, so let me know if you guys want to see more looks with this. I really want to try this yellow right here. Maybe do like an all neutral look and then just do a really buffed out yellow on my lower lash line. So that's another look you guys want to see and let me know because I'll be more than happy to film that for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!